So as a CEO, obviously all the fun and games, but as a CEO, I tell you, it can be difficult to run a business, as you said, standing on the shoulders of those two great ladies. Um, I would imagine kind of COVID as well, kind of had implications on the, the food and the, the, and the farm maybe even. Um, so how are you finding now in your role as CEO of Verfield Estate? Is there any challenges that you've had to overcome or? Yeah, so I, I joined coming out of COVID. So, yeah. uh, and the challenges with kind of rebuilding a team, a culture, um, people had been there for, for a long time. Um, and so and, and taking an organization through that process of change, I suppose one of my big eye openers was, you know, in Danone, there would be a restructure every five minutes and people would be made redundant. It's really sad, yeah. but yeah, unfortunately. And so coming into a charity and, and, and taking them through that process was was a very different experience than what I expected mm -hmm. um, and all of the sensitivities that go with it. So that's taken a long time to kind of get everyone through. And then the classic things of, you know, the people who are left behind have survivor's guilt, yeah, all of that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, everyone said to me, it's a lonely place at the top. And I was like, yeah, but I'm great crack and I yeah. won't be lonely. And people come and talk to me. <laughs> yeah. And now, like, even now, like, I walk into the room and they all stop talking.